Hey YouTube, this is my update on my build of the two A3 Sky Warriors for my USS Enterprise project. Picking up where I left off on fixing that seam, when I went back and looked at it and closed my eyes and ran my finger along it, I could still feel a hump. So I masked uh, around where I was feeling the hump and then on the side in front, I peeled back that tape and did another finger test um, and then ran that over it again. I'm gonna peel that whole thing off, do the finger test again and maybe give it one, you know, a finer grit uh, sanding one more time. All right, just kept working that down. I think I have it to where I just need to scribe those, describe those two lines and I think I'll be good on this one. On this other one, the uh, KA, yeah, see, you can see that hump. There's a shadow there. And then the attachment of the engine. So taking, you know, the same approach here. Gap filling super glue, yeah, did okay. Now I'll just go back and knife the putty over that. I, I think that'll work. I'm real happy with these surfaces now. Um, that is smooth as a baby's behind. Um, I did the finger test on all of these. And, and same thing on this one. So I've started on the uh, engines. And so that's the one I had put on the other day. And uh, here's the next one. Okay, that's the last of the engines that I just put on. Been working with that putty on these engine roots. This one was the cleanest to begin with. So I just touched some putty on there. Uh, and so that one, I'll clean that one up first and then that'll act as my guide for the rest of these. Oh, and I noticed these uh, probes had um, ejection pin marks <laughs> uh, down the side and, and when they were on, you could see them. So I just took some and, and smeared it in there and I finished working on these um, engine connections uh, and I just went over them with a very light coat of ultra thin super glue to kind of put a, a final coat on there. I now have uh, everything, at least on the KA, um, masked out uh, for uh, the final gray. And, <laughs> you know, lesson learned. Uh, I experimented with doing this afterwards. Uh, I, I will go back to, I should have just built this all um, and then mask that with the wing on the plane. The engines, I'm okay doing afterwards um, because those did require, you know, some work and stuff. But, um, <laughs> uh, and I'm happy with the way this came out, but just lesson learned, I wouldn't do it in this order again. Um, so anyway, I'm, as I'm getting close to being done with the painting, I'm starting to look at the decals and, you know, what I'm going to use for what. Um, so just jumping ahead, uh, I, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Um, so this is what will go on there, um, and that's going to look cool. It's a little preview of things to come. Mail call. Uh, we've got a shop card from Rick at Rusty Rotors Model Car Garage. And um, Rick's uh, a longtime modeler. My understanding is he used to be out on YouTube, but now he's back and um, just learned of his channel, started watching it. Um, he's a really cool guy. He's got some really cool content. Um, he does a thing called Mental Mondays, where it's just kind of like a stream of consciousness talking about modeling and related topics and stuff. Anyway, really cool guy, really cool channel. Uh, so definitely go check them out. And and thank you for the kind words on the back, Rick. And, and this will go up on the wall. There we go. So Rick's card is up at the top. Thanks again, Rick. All right. So there we go. I hit all three of those areas. I hit that area in the middle a little bit more. As you can see, it's still a little wet in the middle there. But I'm pretty happy with how smooth that is. So these are unmasked now. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. After they dry 24 hours, I think they're going to be fine. I'm, I'm much happier with that now than the way it was. So yeah, clear coat next. I'm just about ready for clear coat, but uh, before I do that, I went over the entire thing with uh, the lightest sanding stick and just to 
knock everything down a little bit. Then I went and put those things back on the K EKA. Uh, so as soon as those dry, everything here will be ready. So I'll lay all that out and, and shoot it. Um, and then I'll do the same thing on the other one. While that was drying, then I went back and hit the tips of those refueling probes with the Model Master Magnesium Buffing Metalizer. Okay, those have uh, the first coat of uh, Pledge Floor Wax uh, clear coat. And uh, did all these pieces over here as well. And the fuselages, I just did the tops. Um, and then once that dries, then tomorrow I'll do the bottoms. Um, but I'm taking my time and I'm trying to go slow and lay down a, as thin a coat as possible. So I've completed the clear coat on the bottom of the planes now. And uh, down the sides, the engines all around. So I'm letting that dry. I also flipped everything over uh, that needed to be flipped over there and did those. Uh, so everything is now clear coated and uh, then I can begin the wash. And before I did that, it was time to put those pitot tubes on the nose of each plane, which I did with some ultra fine super glue. Next, I made a wash out of fine black chalk shavings, water, and just a drop of Dawn dish soap. Then I used my thinnest brush and laid it in each of the panel lines and then came back with both moist and dry Q-tips and cleaned it up. So this is uh, the result on the first wing. Um, I just wanted to do that first wing as a test. I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. With the chalk, you can just keep wiping it down until you're happy with uh, kind of the level of darkness. I'm gonna go ahead and do all these uh, pieces so that I can assemble the landing gear. So all these pieces, the landing gear, um, the doors, all that, um, as well as inside the wheel wells, um, you know, inside there and inside underneath, assemble all that. Um, that way I can set it on its wheels for me to uh, lay down the decals and uh, it'll all start coming together. So I went around with the wash and hit the landing gear doors and then all the landing gear parts, the wheels and the wheel well, and then finished those rear wings. I went through all my decals and um, between the kit decals and the starfighter decals, um, I think I have everything I need. So basically I created a spreadsheet for each and then kind of cross-referenced um, the decal sets um, and, and kind of came up with, that, with what I needed. Most of the, you know, rescues and stencils and insignias and stuff are the same. And then down here um, for the nose number and stuff, you can see that's more filling in with the Starfighter and, and you know, partials from the Hasegawas. Um, and, and so I made copies of those and noted kind of what's going to go where. So even though this is the, uh, the kit for the KA, I'm taking stuff for the EKA from there. Um, and then same thing for the KA, again, looking at the references and then cross-referencing against uh, the kit decals. Uh, kind of same thing, laid that out, and then where I'm going to supplement with Starfighter. Um, and then, again, I think I told you that Starfighter... Uh, logo was too big, so using the kit logo as a size reference, um, I'm reducing that on my computer and I'll print that out on white decal paper. Um, and then I'm a little bummed that the Starfighter doesn't have that, the words Haldron 2 in there. Um, so I sized, I found a, a similar uh, the exact same logo actually out on the internet and then reduce that down. And what I'm going to try to do is maybe just cut that banner off the bottom and put it on top of there. Um, and then still use these kits, but get that Haldron 2 in there. So basically I, I've now confirmed I have all the decals that I need and the order I'll do them in and so on and so forth. So uh, I think I'm ready to go.
there we go we got the uh, landing gear on and um, I put the uh, tail wings on um, and it was hard to press them in there so I may just leave them in there because um, they're in there pretty tight so I think this is a good uh, stopping point as then the next video will for sure be the final one where I'll uh, put on all the decals do all the final detail and uh, weathering and uh, that should be complete so as always thanks for watching and happy modeling and if i don't get a video out before then uh, happy fourth of july summary stuff like swapping out a tattered old american flag for a nice crisp new one and happy birthday america